in today's video guys i'm going to show you how you can increase your warzone 2.0 performance on basically any pc i'm gonna guide you through this exactly in order to make sure that you get the best fps boost possible so therefore don't forget to watch the whole entire video and also don't forget to comment down below what is your current gpu because i'm highly interested what's like the average gpu right now in the community and if this video was helpful please don't forget to subscribe and maybe also join the discord with over 83,000 active members if you have any issues always feel free to ask there and now let's get straight into this topic so guys and for this first setting what i want you to do is basically go into your windows search bar and just simply type in the graphics until we can find graphics settings we're gonna click onto it and you can now see hardware accelerated gpu scheduling and i already mentioned this in a ton of my videos previously guys that at the current point with the current drivers which are right now available for nvidia hardware accelerated gpu scheduling can actually cause modern warfare 2 and warzone 2 to crash a lot so therefore at the current point i would really not recommend you to actually leave this on usually it's actually better for less input delay but what we can do is go here under graphics performance preference click here now onto browse guys and there we gonna go under our pc local disk c or wherever you have your call of duty installed i'm just gonna show it to you yeah we're gonna go here under local disk then we have your program files and then call of duty then we're gonna go actually from call of duty into data then we're actually gonna go from call of duty into retail guys and there we can now see the call of duty exa and this is the same for modern warfare 2 warzone 2 and everything basically together so therefore we're gonna select this one here go under options and make sure to put it onto high performance guys where you can see that it actually selects my current gpu which is my rtx 3070 ti and not some power savings mode or let windows decide straight up put it onto highest performance guys for the best performance available for this game then we're gonna save this basically and now that you applied all of my settings here we're already done with the first step then for this next step guys what are we going to do is go into our windows search bar and just simply type in their system until we can find a system configuration we're gonna open this one up here guys and then we have general boot services startup and in the first place what we actually want to do guys is go under boot and there we have now windows 10 or basically our operating system and we're gonna click onto advanced options and and there you can see now number of processors where we're gonna put the check in and actually put it to the maximum of our cpu or basically our overall system these are the maximum amount of cores or better said threads which are available right now here on my pc and you can see for me right now it's 32 because if you go into a task manager guys it's super easy to find out under performance you can see here my current cpu which is an i9 3900k has 24 cores and 32 threads so therefore just simply make sure to put it to the maximum to really utilize all of it guys then we're gonna click onto ok and already apply this here real quick to our system then we're gonna go over to startup and then we're gonna click onto open task manager and what we want to do in this step guys is basically go through a whole entire list of all the programs which are launching on our pc while starting the pc basically and you can see here some stuff like i don't know my rgb controller i don't know icu which i use for corsair i don't really need it straight up every time when i launch my pc so i'm gonna put it onto disabled then we have maybe some stuff like i don't know my creative cloud for adobe also disabled my epic games launcher i kind of need you know when i'm like recording playing whatever spotify is something like that which can definitely stay disabled and just simply go through this whole entire list and make sure to disable as many as possible that you only have the core ones enabled which you really need once you launch your pc then as an extra step once we're already in here guys i also want you to go over to services and as an extra step is go also over to details and what we want to do from here is click once onto our memory and then again so we have a whole entire listing of all the services on our pc which are taking the most amount of memory basically ram of our pc and let's just say as an example we're running maybe like 16 gigs of ram 3000 megahertz something like that something pretty updated then definitely something like i don't know my rgb controller which already takes 570 megabyte of ram is taking so much of it which could be used for gaming performance especially windows 10 windows 11 which are already super hardware hungry themselves having something like this which almost takes like 600 megabytes of ram is insane so therefore definitely make sure to end this task before you go into a game then you're gonna go through the rest guys something like wallpaper engine also taking almost 100 mbits uh then we have something like obs of course with which i'm recording right now so therefore i have to let this run but maybe try out if you want to maybe record even while playing um recording with like the intern one of your gpu you know the same tool like nvidia or amd catalyst then we have something like i don't know discord which also takes a lot guys or my camera hub yeah where i have here right now um basically my elgato blurring out the whole background here in my face cam this is almost taking one gig of ram guys this is so much so therefore please make sure that you actually disable everything on your pc and the lower end your pc kind of is the more of a difference this is going to make but even on a higher end system with like 16 gigs of ram ryzen 7 rtx 3080 something like that this is still gonna make a huge difference so therefore guys please make sure to go through this whole entire list and really disable all the tools which 
which you don't need. Then this next up guys, we're going to take a look at a very specific FPS boost pack which I created here for Warzone 2.0 and all you guys can do is basically click on the first link in the description where it's going to be my Discord or just simply discord.gg slash those stripes. We're over 83,000 active members so therefore if you need any help you can always ask here as mentioned already in the intro and yeah guys under video related you should then see FPS boost packs or just simply type in FPS in here and you should be able to find the channel yeah and after I'm done with this video I'm gonna upload the following pack here onto the discord and then you can get it straight up from here guys and yeah basically once you get it on your PC it's gonna be called warzone 2.0 boost pack and all you guys gotta do is basically just extract it all onto your PC and then we have in the first place gaming optimization registry tweaks we're gonna open it up guys and in there we have something like disable driver searching disable file history services disable maintenance disable power throttling disable windows telemetry the telemetry is basically like all these services collecting data of your PC and sending it over to Microsoft so therefore guys you can definitely 100% make sure to disable all of these here while just simply clicking onto them and applying them to your registry just simply click onto it and click onto yes guys and trust me you cannot mess up anything on your PC they simply disable a ton of processes and services which are completely unnecessarily just collecting data on your PC so therefore make sure to apply these guys as mentioned but if you're still worried a little bit guys you can always make sure to create a restore point just simply go here onto restore point and then you can create here a new one guys yeah under windows super easy so therefore if anything should be then messed up afterwards you can basically recover it but as mentioned nothing's going to happen and then as a secondary step we're gonna click onto clean junk files guys and here we're gonna click onto disk cleanup and once we're in here now we can see basically all the junk files on our pc which we can fully disable or basically delete and what we want to do is just simply make sure to select all of them here click onto ok and clean up your whole entire hard drive i do this super regularly so therefore for me it's only 660 megabyte which is not really a lot i've seen people for who this was like 10 gigs 15 gigs 20 gigs so therefore always make sure to clean this and as additional step you can even go into a windows search bar type in temp percenter click onto that and make sure to delete all the temporary files here on your pc which can somehow slow it down or mess up something so therefore always go into it and just simply make sure that it's here fully cleaned now click on to skip if there's any of them which you can't recycle and once you're done with everything guys you should definitely have improved the performance of your pc freed up a lot of data and especially also deleted all the temporary or even corrupted data on your pc which is going to give you a nice fps boost and as a final step guys i can only recommend you to check out my latest video where i show you the best nvidia control panel settings for gaming in 2022 and if you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe and with that said have a great day and until next time stay awesome i'm out peace